Hello, so in this one, let's talk about pay to win. So all the pay to win starts with crystals, which you can top up. And the biggest pack costs around 85 euros or so. And with those crystals that you buy, you can sell those crystals on the market. And make gold that way. And basically, when you make that gold from those bought crystals, you open up the wall auction house to buy a lot of stuff. And first of all is equipment. Even though the best equipment is only acquirable in the raids, but because this game has a system that's called tempering, and with tempering, you can actually transfer some of the stats to your main item. So this is my main item. And if I add gloves, I can actually transfer my special aptitude or transfer my base stats. And base stats actually mean a lot in this game. You really want to get the correct ones. And this is where pay to win starts. Besides that, there is gems. Gems are insanely expensive and epic gems are really really good. Tier 1, Tier 2 they give advantage but Tier 3 is insane. Same goes for red, yellow or blue, doesn't matter which ones. I'm not even talking about colorful gems which are gonna be insane. And power, again, Tier 1, Tier 2 not a big deal. Tier 3 is where, where it gets fun. Empowerments I can show you right now, they are in the same workshop. In empowerment tab, they give you stats. For example, on the weapon, you can get focus, and it gets better the further you go into those. On helmet, you can get stamina, and on something like gauntlets, you can get your intelligence. Besides empowerments, emblems. I think emblems is the biggest thing in here. As you want to level up your emblems to level 10, as every single level, can give not every single level but at some breakpoints you can get additional effects and additional effects are kind of crazy good because they can buff your nodes for example this empowerment buffs my upper node and those upgrades are kind of expensive i can show you for right now from level six to seven i would need how many oh i i need quite a bit and i'm using epic ones right so yeah you need quite a bit of those so those emblems from the auction house is a big deal. All of this is really huge early power spikes. After that there is potions, some burst potions, lasting potions, some potions for the raids. Another thing about auction house which is a big deal, it's actually materials. So what happens with materials? Because Vega is the requirement energy to use to gather or to craft. And with gold you can actually skip gathering and you can go straight into crafting. Which makes it easier to make money when you have money. That's another big, big thing. At the same time you can craft some items and tempering those items. So that's a big advantage. For the crystals themselves, there's also, of course, bunch of um, cosmetics. A lot of cosmetics. Appearance, weapons, mounts, and I know, head badges, I don't even know there's so many of those, but these are for the crystals themselves. They don't have to be crystals uh, that you buy for real money. They can also be crystals that you can buy from the auction house. So if you have gold, you can still buy those cosmetics. Another big thing is, is the gacha. But gacha is again, gacha is only, only the cosmetics again. There are really good ones, really good looking ones. And there is actually, they show the chances to roll and to roll an actual orange cosmetic is like one and a half percent chance, which is really low, but still Gamba. You can spend those rubies in here. There are some other stuff, but that other stuff, I, I, 
I don't really know that well. There is like specific, specific at least on China server, there is some pages that they sometimes load, sometimes don't. But I think these are events. They probably not don't have anything to do with pay to win. But I'm still showing these, cause it might change some daily rewards as much as I understand. But yeah, something like this. So the next question is. How do you generate gold if you are not paid to win, right? The only thing I can say is either crafting, which is gonna be a big influence of the gold, and early, it's actually achievements. You can generate like good amount of gold from the first achievements that you get. I can show you even right this gives 300 gold. And some of these actually give like 500 or even more. I have picked I have picked up most of those. From the raids also, you can pick up decent amount of gold. But mainly, it's gonna be crafting. Sometimes, it might be daily events. That's called Manual of Destiny. At least in China version, you can get like up to 100 gold if you complete all of these. And you can switch these. These are pretty simple. Clear Arcane Realm, participate in Battlegrounds. Clear Universal Hall twice, you can refresh those to get something else if you don't want to do some of the content. But these are only on top of my head right now. But yeah, this basically wraps it up with pay to win stuff. At least right now, at least with the information that I know and the information we have right now. So GG's, have a nice one and see you in the next one.